Hi, my name is Katie. Touchdown! And that's basically all I know about football. So last Sunday was the Super Bowl. For those of you who don't know, the Super Bowl is basically two groups of guys who fight to see who can get a ball to their side of the field the most. And that's basically football in general. The Super Bowl are the two groups of guys who are the best at getting the ball to their side of the field the most. Spectators can join the team simply by saying, we won or we're gonna win, even though they had absolutely nothing to do with that team's winning. Naturally, if a team loses, the spectators aren't as eager to join. I went to a Super Bowl party this weekend. Mainly for the food. I prepared for the game by watching the High School Musical Marathon that was on TV. Have I ever mentioned to you guys how High School Musical is exactly like high school? I should talk about that sometime. Oh wait, I did! Link in the end screen! So yeah, I was watching the High School Musical Marathon and then right in the middle of You Are the Music and Me, the Super Bowl started. I didn't really see much of the first half except for the last few minutes when us non-football fans went back to watch the halftime show. But man, those last few minutes were like camping! That is to say, intense. It gets so lonely in here. Intense. <laughs> They'd just be running around same as always, and then suddenly everyone would jump up and start cheering, and I'd be like, what? It went something like this. Woo! Woo! Oh. At one point, I saw a clock ticking down on the screen, so I thought I'd join the excitement. Five, four, three, two, thirty-five. What? I don't know if those numbers are right. If I just ruined the whole joke by using the wrong numbers, I'm sorry. Football time is weird. One thing that a lot of people get excited about during the Super Bowl, whether you're a football fan or not, are the commercials. The Super Bowl. The final showdown. The best commercials you can find. A lot of people were talking about this year's Super Bowl commercials, not because of how entertaining they were, but because a lot of them were really depressing. And I can't vouch for all of them because I didn't watch all of them, but I'm sure they all had very important messages. But at one point when I was down there, there were like three commercials in a row that left me like, aww. <laughs> Why did they do this? Speaking of halftime, no one was speaking of halftime. Oh, well. Now that you mention it, speaking of halftime, I'm just picturing a meeting where a bunch of people just sat around the table to decide what Katy Perry was going to do for her performance. All right, listen, I have a great idea. She rides in, wait for it, on a giant tiger. Besides the fact that she was singing Roar and she was riding a tiger, and I'm pretty sure it's lions that roar and not tigers. I think that was a tiger. It really didn't look like a lion. Maybe it was a liger. Whether it was a lion or a tiger or a bear, oh my. It was pretty awesome. I want to ride that thing. Then she started singing Dark Horse and she like was on the floor and it was like doing all the things and going like that and oh, it just looked so cool. And then Lenny Kravitz came in and did a number and then Missy Elliott showed up and did her thing and now everyone's applauding Katy Perry for helping this new performer get her name out there. <laughs> After a few impressively fast costume changes, Katy Perry came flying in on the More You Know star. All in all, I think she was great. People are saying, ugh, Beyonce was so much better. But like, even if she was, give Katy Perry props. She was great. Like, I want to see you go up and do what she did. Uh-huh, that's what I thought. <gasps> oh, the dancing shark! The dancing shark! So at one point in her performance, Katy Perry saying, I think it was I Kissed a Girl. I don't know, she was singing something. She sang a lot of songs. But she had these two dancing sharks and these beach balls in these trees, but it was like the sharks that made it. Tumblr and Twitter and Facebook, like everyone's just like obsessed with these sharks. There was one on one side that was totally jamming out, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And the one on the other side was just like, I'm a shark, I'm a shark. So basically me, Beyonce didn't have sharks. Just saying. Please don't hurt me, I think Beyonce's really great. And after that, I stopped watching the Super Bowl. I don't know who won. How is that possible? How do I not know who won the Super Bowl? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below letting me know who won the Super Bowl because I have no idea. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for the independent study and more. Bye. Number four. There are really only six to 10 important people in your class. Either take a position of importance, be friends with someone in one, or don't be surprised when you go to your high school reunion in 10 years and people go, oh, hey, you, Kathy. Carrie? Who won the Super Bowl? Patriots. Okay. Congratulations.